welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, smash that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, and hit the like button on every video. So today, I'm actually going to be making DIY fidget toys with you. So first, you're going to take clothespins and take them apart. Um, we can, I can probably do a tutorial in a different video on how to make a DIY tangle with the parts, or you could go to another video. But first, watch this video, and after this video, you can go look up a, tour, a tutorial with clothespins that say, tutorial of how to make a DIY tangle with clothespins. Well, you're going to use the rest that you have, like, here, and then you're going to grab um, strong tape. I'm using this kind of tape. Actually, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be as strong, but, I mean, it, you would like it to, so then we can have, like, a stronger base so it doesn't break easily. So, you're going to lay them all, like, out like I am. Sorry, my camera skills are really bad. Not <laughs> guys. I'll do it to where I can make it, like, big. my work surface bigger so you can actually see my progress. Yes! That's perfect. That's perfect. <clears throat> Now we're gonna line them all up. You're probably gonna wanna take nine of them and take them apart and then have like all these, like have like 18 of these because nine times nine equals 18. So, I mean, no, <laughs> nine times, I mean, nine plus nine equals 18. And there's two pieces on each, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh, two times nine equals 18, not nine times nine. I got confused for a second. Okay guys, now I'm almost done setting them up. I only have three more to go. Now only one more to go. I just sat down my last one, like so. Now you're gonna grab your tape. Make sure to grab quite a lot and tape them together. So, yeah, that's the first, that's the next, that was the next step. You're going to tape all them together. It's fine if you don't have enough, if you didn't, if you used a little bit short amount of tape, you can grab another piece of tape, cover the tape you just did like a little bit and then tape the rest with it if that makes any sense um probably not to you guys but it makes sense to me because <laughs> i'm the one who's doing the project on the screen showing you all how to do it okay i'll just show you what it should look like at the end when i'm finished because i've done this diy hack two times and then you can call her where my finger is like on those lines and then there you have it it goes like that it's really satisfying to do okay next day yeah, i fidget so for this one you'll need a balloon let me grab that You're gonna need any kind of balloon, I mean any color balloon, and any kind. And then you're gonna take either, um, oh my gosh, if I could even get it out, then we could do it. If I can't, sadly we can't. If I can't. And if they're all stuck together, like, you're gonna grab like a beaded necklace. It can be big or small, whatever your heart desires. <laughs> It really doesn't matter. You can even use poof balls. I've done it before. It's really satisfying to squish. Oh my gosh, guys. It's stuck. So what you're gonna do next is like, oh, finally, what I was about to explain because I thought it would take forever. Okay, guys, so what you're gonna do is like cut all these up and then put them into the balloon when you're finished cutting all of these to where there's like boom 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 here this is what i mean like 
one, two, and just cut them all off of the necklace and put them all in. Then tie it off. This is a really good to squish because it's really just helps with your stress. It's like a, it's a stress ball, but if you don't have like cornstarch or something like that, and you have these beaded necklaces and a balloon, that would be really great. But um, guys, if you don't have a balloon and you have beads instead of these necklaces, I mean, and then you have plastic bags, place some beads in the plastic bag, sealed up, and then tape um, the, I mean, don't use tape. Just seal it up and then you can squish it out and it'll feel the same exact way. Guys, I'm almost done, sorry. That's taking forever. Okay, guys, moving on to the next DIY fidget because, like, yeah, it's taking forever. First, I gotta place just the ones I just cut into here. I'm not gonna be able to finish it in this video unless I use time slaps, but I don't know how to edit in videos. I usually use iMovie to put my intro in. <laughs> Because, yeah, why not? Now you're gonna need, hold on. You're gonna need a rubber band like this, scissors, cut like that to where you have one like this. Then you're gonna grab beads and loop them on. Actually, no, not yet. You're gonna tie a knot, like a few knots at the same spot base um hold on guys i'll show you all so you all don't get confused with me bear with me bear with me trust me it's kind of difficult to explain so you're gonna do, do one you're gonna fold up kind of near it you're gonna make probably four knots at the same exact place see how it's getting my knots getting thicker because i'm making multiple knots to make it stronger and sturdier for the project. And you want this exact rubber band or it won't work. This exact kind of rubber band. Because sadly it will not work like I said. And see the other end, how it's not like tied. You're gonna place all your beads you want onto there. I'm going to try to hurry because the video is already like eight minutes. <laughs> Almost done, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. Now I'm going to add like one more probably. I can find a good one. Okay, I found um, like this lime green one. Now I'm going to tie off the end like three times like I did with the other one. With the other end. Then, um, guys, this is my last DIY fidget I'm showing you in this video because this video was incredibly long and I didn't even realize it would be this long. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, what you can do is you can go like that and fidget around with the beads, or you can go. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Bye.